Two tight ends set from the Colts, 49. Off the fake to ETN. Lawrence fires, and the catch is made by Calvin Ridley. Third down at eight, empty backfield. Lawrence looking, can't find anyone, spins away. Now Lawrence throws, back of the end zone, touchdown, it's Ridley. His fourth reception of this drive, and his first touchdown as a Jacksonville Jaguar. As savvy as he is, goes back, and you see Ridley. Arm raised, I see you, I'm 6'6", six, six. I see you, don't worry, I'll get him. Etienne and Lawrence, teammates at Clemson. Now together in Jacksonville, second down and two. Lawrence fires Ridley, somehow wow. makes the catch in between two Colts defenders. Wait, wait. We're both shaken up. For Lawrence in his third season. Lawrence fires, and it's caught by Ridley, and he's still going. Calvin Ridley down the sideline, and he was finally ruled out of bounds around the 14-yard line. Lawrence steps up, fires into the end zone. Diving attack inbound? made by Zay Jones. Wow. That's a touchdown. We have got to see if he stayed in bounds. Wow. Let's see it again. Watch the, so now the foot and now the hand. The comes hand down. is inbound, and it looks like he maintains possession. All scoring plays are reviewed. Second down and 10. Lawrence looking for Ingram. Makes the catch along the sideline. With a three-point lead, we approach four minutes remaining. Lawrence, nice touch. Zay Jones. Jacksonville first down. Nice touch indeed. 20 seconds to play. First half. Lawrence, short drop, the throw. Oh, terrific grab by Ridley. Into Kansas City territory, working against Sneed with a penalty marker down at midfield. Yeah, probably all the things I'm supposed to take care of at home. <laughs> the honey-do list is not getting <laughs> a workout. Let's just say it's accumulated. Lawrence, he's going to go long, and it's caught by Kirk. Into Kansas City territory without corner help and that was Brian Cook trying to make it happen a little combo pattern there and Kirk comes free Lawrence pump and run for Trevor Lawrence he's got room on that sideline and he'll take it into Kansas City territory out of bounds on second down five Lawrence rolling and can't find anybody so he's gonna keep and move all the way across the field like it was like he was running into people his own man generally speaking it's going to have to be underneath pass is caught by calvin ridley he's got a first down and he's thrown down at the 32 yard line third and four wide open and that's a jacksonville touchdown christian Kirk. No mistake on this one. Wide open. Trevor Lawrence delivers perfect ball. Just a little bit of a defensive mix on his coverage. He and C.J. Stroud have an excellent relationship. Lawrence on first down. Throws. And a good catch. Falling to the ground as Christian Kirk had the touchdown a moment ago. We were saying that Evan Ingram was talking with Lawrence on the bench after that last series. They made one first down before punting, and Lawrence a lot of time will take off, and he's got a lot of space. And the long strider galloping all the way to Atlanta territory. Richie Grant finally forced him out, but that's a 21-yard scramble. Team that has struggled on fourth down as well. One for six so far. Going to throw for it. Across the middle. It's complete. And a first down to Christian Kirk as he is targeted for the first time and they move the sticks inside the Atlanta 30, 10-yard game. Both Luke Farrell and Brenton Strange on the field more. Farrell did have one catch short game earlier. Lawrence sidesteps the pressure there. That was Richie Grant whiffing and throws to Penzo. Touchdown. Calvin Ridley is involved against his former team. A 30-yard strike on his first touch today. Wow.
there's a blown coverage between the corner and the safety. You're going to get free pressure of Trevor Lawrence's right. Terrell's just going to kind of hang. Yeah. He's got vision on it, and then Calvin puts the hand up. He's expecting a safety to go over the top. Play fake. Lawrence looking downfield and finds wide open. Christian Kirk makes a man miss. This pass game is clicking. This is what Jags fans have waited for. We're inside the 40. And that's exactly where they've lived, though, on these third and medium situations. Ridley off to the left, and it's a long cross-field throw. The catch made by Christian Kirk. It is a first down, and a 28 seconds to go. They'll run tempo here after a 16-yard gain. Man to man. Chances. He circled Ingram, was off to the left. He comes across instead. Lawrence looks downfield and finds Kirk for another first down in front of Mike Hughes. Lawrence over the middle. That's Christian Kirk taking it down to the Buffalo 32. Micah Hyde on the coverage. Gain of 30. Lawrence surveys the scene. The end zone. Touchdown. Zay Jones goes up to get it. Flag is down. Back where Lawrence threw it. Nine play drive capped off by this six yard snag by number seven. Play clock winding down. They just get it off. Lawrence flips one out to Kirk. First down from the Bills 45. Lawrence surveys, fires, complete to Calvin Ridley. Another first down dart. Er hat ein bisschen Zeit und Touchdown! Oh. Er müsste mit beiden Füßen am Boden gewesen sein. Ich glaube, das ist für... Okay. Und hier gibt es ja. zwei Punkte. Und das heißt 8 zu 0 für Jacksonville. Jacksonville. Lawrence. Calvin Ridley. First down. Down to the 20-yard line. Kirk in motion. Fakes to Etienne, has to step up to avoid the rush, and he's got an open Ridley. Calvin Ridley. That's Ridley's sixth catch of the day. Tottenham crowd in full throat. Lawrence flings it up for Ridley, and he's got it. Calvin Ridley, what a throw and catch over Micah Hyde, gain of 32. Taking candy from a baby for a guy like Calvin Ridley who comes in off of one of the best games of his career last week. Lawrence has it shut wide open. Christian Kirk, touchdown. Indy. Yeah, it, it appears like they're playing a three deep coverage in Brent. He just gets caught on this little screen just for a count and then he doesn't sink. And then Trevor Lawrence just fires it right in there to the side. On third and goal, Lawrence near side. Touchdown, Brenton Strange. And the Jags pouring it on here in Jacksonville. The Colts are just playing too deep. Safety's deep. And then watch Jones here. How far he sinks. He's going to sink, sink, sink. And then Lawrence comes all the way backside and is able to hit that for a touchdown. Bigby stays in the block, almost gets run over him, but does the job. And here goes Lawrence again down the sideline and out of bounds. Lawrence going to run again. A lot of room. There he goes. What a night he's had as a rusher. Lawrence fires. That's caught on the run. Christian Kirk inside the 20. He goes, and Christian Kirk takes the ball all the way to about the one-yard line. They're going to spot it as he thinks he scored the touchdown, and they're going to call it a touchdown now. And Al against Matthew, Kirk can have an option to work to the inside. He goes in, then back out. 
And then he's back to the inside. And, and look how he separates with the ball in his hands. He, he, he's, he and Evan Ingram both bring an approach, just kind of a pro's pro as far as how they show up to practice, show up in their preparation to get ready for a game. And I just, again, I felt that uh, the matchup against the, the inside defensive backs, the, the slot corners, whether it was Taylor or Matthew coming down, that eventually Lawrence would have a chance to hit a big one. And late in the game, Kirk finally makes his presence felt. 240 yards of offense for Jacksonville, 107 for the Steelers. Lawrence sets and throws a deep shot. It's caught by ETN. ETN is going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Jacksonville. On a big one, 56 yards. About it before this one, because there were reports they are going to make him a full-time slot receiver, and he said no. Just wanted to work on that part of the game. And, boy, is that coming. All right, so from the 48, a deep drop, letting things develop. Heaves it downfield. Kirk comes back to the ball, and he's got it. First and goal for Jacksonville. Gives Jacksonville another chance. Again, they like to run corner routes to the short side of the field where Jones and Ingram are. Lawrence back in the end zone. Ridley over the shoulder kicks. Touchdown. Control, right foot, left foot, Ridley, surgical. Travis Etienne lines up at the top of your screen. Lawrence instead looking left. He evades the initial sacker. Lawrence going to run for it. Lawrence, end zone, touchdown. Now earlier it was Fulton, this time it was Autry. Yeah, man, he's starting to put them some things together for this offense. One of his bigger days of the season so far. Lawrence fakes the handoff again. Little off balance. Go to the end zone. It's caught. And it's Ridley again. Trevor Lawrence slicing him up. They're just toying with this secondary. You know, they ran Spiro. They ran that deep play to Ridley. They ran the exact same play. There's no doubt that Jacksonville is a good football team. Little option play. Lawrence, is he in? Yes, he is. Second rushing touchdown of the day for Lawrence. And Jacksonville pouring it on. Good edge play from their corners today. That time it was McCreary. Texans have caught, been called for the second most pass interference penalties and the Jaguars offense has drawn the most as they run it up the middle and Lawrence has a touchdown. His third rushing touchdown of the season. He had two last week and with Booze who has crossed the goal line. Doesn't have to take the hit really just gets his arm out there. I'd rather him do it with his left arm but Lawrence looking deep for Christian Kirk. He's got him. Kirk stiff arm at the 10, 5, and he puts the ball out to the pylon. No signal yet. One second on the clock. And they're saying he's down at the 1. Evan Ingram has not caught a touchdown yet this year. Third and goal. Lawrence wide open touchdown. It's Ridley. His fifth touchdown of the year. And that quiets the crowd in Houston. Real quick, look at this stack right here. And then Calvin Ridley run the same nod route that Trevor Lawrence missed earlier. He stems inside, gives a little wiggle to the outside, wide open over the middle of the field. Good design. This ball's got to come out of Trevor Lawrence's hands regardless. Lawrence, and right back to Ridley for two. So that's the octopus for Ridley. Rising star for the Cincinnati Bengals. Third down and nine here for Jacksonville. End zone and caught. Touchdown <laughs> after the deflection. Parker Washington after Hill had a shot at it for the Bengals. And the first for the rookie Washington. Oh man, Dax Hill has his hands on it. Just unable to make the play. Lawrence goes over the top. Touchdown.
The ball came out, but he broke the plane of the goal line, and it's a touchdown. Is that the quarterback rolled the ball across the goal line? Touchdown. And used his wingspan for the touchdown right there. Yeah, that's a great look right down the line. Ward out with that shoulder injury three straight weeks. On second down, Lawrence hooks a pass. End zone. Caught by Ingram. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Well placed by Trevor Lawrence. And they cash in. The Joku with two touchdowns for Cleveland. But watch Ingram as he takes the break. And Trevor Lawrence just understands his tight end. But Ridley is the guy that creates the big plays for you here at the bottom. From the 19. And Lawrence in the air. Caught. Touchdown. Parker Washington with the score. Touchdown last week and gets another one today. Lawrence, guns, touchdown, Evan Ingram. Second of the day. And they're lining up for two. Once again, the same philosophy. Philosophy is if you get it back, you're going for the win. Four that time, Lawrence firing sideline, Jones! Holds on, no timeouts, five seconds left, clock runs. It is! Play action for the 35, Lawrence firing, Agnew's open! Jamal Agnew has it, cuts inside, he will score! Welcome back, Jamal Agnew! Good things come to those who wait. They're going to have a wheel route on here, and you're going to have Brandon Stevens reacting to the inside. He's been on Calvin Ridley all night long, and yet there they were, finally hitting one of those big plays, and you're right, Mike. Mark's looking to take off here. I'm such a Roquan Smith gets bent back as he got to the 45-yard line. Pick players, not plays right now. Got to have it. Fourth and four. Lawrence going to try to do it with his legs and get there. And get out of bounds to boot. He's become a joker in so many different places. Lawrence spinning, taking off. Get out of bounds to get the first down around the 14 yard line with 340. So here comes Trevor Lawrence, 14 to 23. Back from concussion protocol this week. He's got a first and ten. The blitz is on. He got away on the play from White. Running up the middle. Hits the deck smartly at about the 40-yard line. And as you said, Kevin, the ankle and then the concussion a week ago. How much does that affect practice time? He didn't practice all week except for Friday. Here he is running again. This is not a good sign, but he is getting first downs by doing it. And Lawrence has 29 yards rushing, and the team has 29 yards rushing. First time in the red zone today, second down, five, Lawrence to the end zone, caught for the touchdown, Ridley makes the grab, drilled on the play. The ball was secured, it's a touchdown. And watch this hit, and Winfield was the one to do it, but they caught it. Lawrence to the air, Robinson the block, moving up, going deep, he's got him, he's got Ridley, that is six! What a throw! Touchdown, Jaguars! Jaguars take their second lead today. Keep an eye on both safeties. It's going to be Ridley going down, but watch the safeties. They're looking up the middle of the field. They both sit, so there's no help for Murphy Bunting over the top. Any question about whether or not Trevor Lawrence can throw it down the field just got answered. Hit Ridley right in stride. And you mentioned Sean Murphy Bunting was beaten. Be a contested catch in the corner, setting up this second long. ETN was back there. Robinson the block going for the end zone. Caught. That's a touchdown. Ingram got it. Big throw by Lawrence. 14 yard strike. And the Jaguars are back in business. Is that Wallace is trailing and doesn't have his eyes back. Ingram is looking back, so it's an easy adjustment for him to come up with.